Finn, a warm welcome to Northampton. Um, how have you found your first couple of days here? Yeah, great. Um, buzzing to be here. Um, obviously, slightly bit sweet with everything's gone on, but um, really excited to get started and sort of um, hit the ground running. So yeah, looking forward to it. Obviously, with everything that's happened, you had, oh, I'm sure, some offers for the rest of the season. Why was it Northampton now that was the right decision rather than going somewhere else for, I guess, the rest of this season? Um, obviously, so I'd, I, I knew I was coming for the start of next season and uh, having the opportunity to learn off Biggs and the, and the other guys here sort of from, from now, I thought it would just set me in, in real good stead with, with, a, with a future ahead. So obviously that and uh, the way they've started the season, the, the rugby they've been playing, I thought um, there's no club I would uh, develop but better than being at Northampton. So yeah, it was a bit of a no-brainer to be honest. And the decision to come here had already been made. Was, was that part of it, the way this team plays and the players we've got here? Yeah, 100%. Um, they play a super exciting brand of rugby. I think everyone knows that. Um, super, super high speed of ball. They move teams around, and I think that's sort of one of my strengths as a player. So it was something that a club that I felt if I came to, I could hopefully, hopefully develop that side of my game. And then um, just the coaching setup here was massive. Obviously, Sam Vesti, a huge part of what they do. It'd be, be great to get under him and, and learn from the guys around him and hopefully, hopefully try and go on that side. You're a pretty familiar face in Premiership Rugby. You've been around for a couple of seasons, but you're still a very, very young man. How much room for growth do you think you've got? Oh, loads, yeah. I've barely started yet. I've obviously had a, had a little run of games last year, but um, no, I think this is a new chapter and I'm ready to, ready to sort of really try and develop here as a, as a player and hopefully become a bit more of a familiar face across the league. Tell us about Finn Smith, the man, yeah. rather than the rugby player. What, what's, uh, what keeps you ticking off the field? Uh, I've been, been trying to get into my golf recently. I know it's nice. probably just just missing the missing the golf <laughs> season starting now, but I've been been getting my handicap down a little bit. Not very good, um, but yeah, just pretty laid back. Like like spending time with the boys and and just chilling out outside of rugby. Um, I'm doing a doing a uni degree degree in economics online, so that that keeps me busy. Um, not exactly what you want to be doing on your days off always, but I suppose it's it's good. And then yeah, just just a sort of pretty laid back family guy that that likes likes just knocking about with the boys I think for you this is a first move away from home um, any sort of not not worries I guess but just um, thoughts in your mind about that yeah of course when you when you're in a new environment there's obviously a load of new faces you've got to meet and want to hoping to make good first impressions and things like that um, my parents are sort of very much um, sort of nervous to let me go out there I'm very much mummy's little boy but I'm sure she'll um, she'll be happy when uh, everything settles in and hopefully the It'd be great for them to get to a new club and sort of see see a new group of fans and stuff like that so yeah i'm really excited about it and i know plenty of familiar faces as well from your time with the england age groups as well yeah um sort of being away in the summer with sort of ethan grayson and george hendy and lockett and boys like that i was rooming with george where well, i don't know whether that was a good or a bad thing but <laughs> got to know him rather well so yeah looking forward to catching up with those guys and yeah, hopefully getting to know some of the rest of the squad as well when you look at the, those kind of lads and the ones that have come before them the the sort of pathway they've had through the first team and some of them onto international honours is that something that really excites you yeah it has to be it has to be you look at the look at the back line here they're all sort of young english homegrown lads that all sort of started out in the position that i'm coming in now and then have, have taken it to the level where they're now getting international honours and, and playing super well every week so i mean hopefully i can try and follow a similar trajectory and, and be in the position those guys are in now We've got to have a word on Worcester. You mentioned before, obviously, not the way you would have wanted it to finish there. How tough was that? And obviously, there's been a lot of Worcester fans on social media wishing you well as well, which has been lovely. Yeah, no, it was, it was devastating for the club. Um, obviously, never thought, no gut feeling, never, never thought it was going to get to that stage that it ended up in. Um, it was an amazing club that served me so well for so long. And the fans there have been, and the, the staff and players have been nothing but, but amazing my whole journey. Um, and super, super grateful for all the, all the messages and kind words about wishing me well moving on. Um, but yeah, just hope, hopefully things can, can sort itself there, out there because it's, it's, it's so tough seeing a, seeing a club like that um, in the position it's in. And then, yeah, just to, to everyone there, thank, thanks so much for all the help, all the support, and hopefully we'll uh, cross paths again sometime, whether that be on the pitch or, or just for a beer in the bar or something like that. Such a tough situation, but obviously everyone at the club, the players, the staff handled themselves so well during that. What did you learn about yourself, I guess, and what did you pick up from that situation moving forward? Yeah, I suppose found ways to keep busy, first of all. We had, we had a lot of days just sort of sat at home waiting for, waiting for things to happen. And I support the, the big sort of learning from that was just how important it is having a, having a good relationship with your teammates. Um, hopefully something I can bring here, but like uh, it was so important. and. Just being around the guys, I don't know what, what all of us would have done if it wasn't for us sort of having each other and 
having a group chat or having a coffee and just ways we could sort of take our mind off things and sort of get through it all with humour almost. So that, that was so important and sort of glad we had a, had a real tight-knit relationship there to, to get us through. Just finally, we're, we're sitting here looking out across the Franklin's Gardens pitch. Um, it must get the mouth watering for what's to come. How, how keen are you to get out there and start showing what you can do? Yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, our best pitch in the league in my opinion amazing amazing for atmosphere every time i've been here so yeah can't wait and then just on a rugby side of things it'd be it'd be great to sort of pick up pick up the rugby as fast as i can and then hopefully start trying to trying to learn and, and get get myself out there as a player and sort of sh hopefully show a little bit of what i can offer and then hopefully get, get to know some of the boys and and yeah crack on so yeah really looking forward to it it's going to be brilliant